All right, keeping the theme of small, we have one, the one terabyte SanDisk Extreme. This is an A2 chip, up to 160 megabytes read and 90 megabytes write. We're gonna go ahead and run those speed tests in this video. Uh, but just to show you the same packaging as you get with any SD card, you think maybe you get a little extra, <laughs> uh, but no, it's just same, same old, same old, as far as the unboxing experience, you cut below the line and it's still actually not deep enough. Yeah. See, I was a good quarter inch still away from the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> Can't believe it. That little small thing there. You can see I, I've used Sandus extremes before. I think I got like a 128 here. 128, I've got a 32 here. So I got 32, 128, one terabyte. The Samsung Evo Select, I got a 512. Look at that, there's a whole family here. You got the 400, you got the 256, you got the 64. You know, at, at one time, this was like a lot of money. This is probably only like, I don't know, 250 bucks now, maybe 300. But then again, I'm sorry, yeah, if you're in another country, I know like, the prices can get a little insane. All right, let's go to the computer. And if you're interested in the storage container, it's awesome. It's waterproof, shockproof. I actually ran it over with my car in the video I made and it survived being ran over by a car. I did not put micro SD cards in it when I ran it over in the car. I just wanted to see if the frame would crack at all. And uh, the cool thing about this case is it actually holds, you have the micros, but then you can also take a micro, put it in a in a in a in the regular size and then do like that so you can get an extra set of micros or if you have the full size uh sd cards you could just put them straight in and stay tuned because eventually we're going to put the uh one terabyte in the um raspberry pi 4 here and play some games on it and see how it runs putting the 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 micro sd card just straight into your computer you can see here it's 953.55 gigabytes let's just quick it give it a quick format and um see what goes on here so now we're at 953.43, 1 is that trillion, 23 billion, 737 million, 331,712 bytes in capacity at a 512 kilobyte cluster size. Next fat is the E drive. We're going to run three, three tests back to back because it tends to slow down after the first few tests. Whew. So interesting it remember it said up to 160 megabytes read speed so it's actually underperforming on the read speed quite significantly um but still any anything over like 60 to 100 is going to do great i mean unless you're doing like 8k or 4k recording you know that's where you, you might need that kind of bandwidth but for everyday use in your in your cell phone in a raspberry pi you know for some sort of storage this is plenty fast there we go much better read started off slow went much faster the writing speed went down though there a little bit yeah anything over a hundred i'm super happy there you go 160 and then 101. so i think this is probably more in line you know 150 to 160 on the read around 100 on the right and what do they advertise again on the right like 120 164 they only advertise 90 on the right. Now we're getting above all the readings. So, wow, very nice, much better. All right, and then we're gonna write an image on the Raspberry Pi through Win32, and then we'll see what kind of speeds we get. There it is, how big is this file? We're gonna be writing a 724 gigabyte, 760 billion bytes. All right, onto the one terabyte, and let's go ahead and write. <laughs> All right, only two hours. It's got only two hours. It's going 100 megabytes per second. 103, 102. That is fast. Two hours to write 725 gigabytes. It's amazing. It's probably going to go a little under two, two hours. Yep. <clears throat> so, super impressive. So, but there you have it the SanDisk Extreme one terabyte. Uh, micro SD card. There's going to be bigger ones out there, but man, is this impressive. For the Raspberry Pi, it's a little overkill. A lot of, uh, they make portable SSDs and with USB 3.1, you get some pretty serious speeds out of something. But if you do need it, such a small form factor, like in a drone, a cell phone, a Pi or something else, this could be the, the thing for you. So it did, it did work out. That's what I think. Let me all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.